All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, we're going to start laying down. Please have your strap near you. Um, we're going to be working toward some back bends, some gentle back bends. Um, and I want to explore all of the things that um, the body is going to need in order to do those back bends. So we're going to start with um, the strap and laying down. I know this is a tough way to start a class laying down because always hard to get back up again, right? Um, and to just keep a little more awareness and energy, maybe you uh, bend the knees and keep your feet on the floor so it's less of a shavasana and more of a centering. And then draw the shoulders down toward the floor. And I just remembered I had a little something I wanted to read. So while you're settling in, um, I will just read this lovely little quote uh, by a person named Galway Connell. And it says, the bud stands, the bud, like a flower bud, the bud stands for all things, even those things that don't flower. For everything flowers from within of self-blessing. Though sometimes it is necessary to reteach a thing its loveliness, to put a hand on the brow of the flower and retell it in words and in touch that it is lovely until the flower again, until it flowers again from within of self-blessing. So just kind of take that in that um, everything flowers, everything is lovely. We are lovely in all our imperfection, in all our uniqueness. And sometimes I think we forget that. We forget that place or that state of being. So close your eyes. And maybe let the hands rest at the low belly. And send yourself some of that love. Send yourself some of that compassion and good regard. Someone said, if you have difficulty loving yourself or giving yourself good self-talk, imagine that you are talking to your best friend. And what would you say to that best friend to let them know how much they are loved, how good they are, how perfect they are, just the way they are? Start to take the breath in a little bit deeper. And exhale it all the way out. Inhale, big deep breath. And exhale. And then straighten the right foot and take both arms overhead, just the right leg and both arms and feel that for a moment. Just feel maybe the stretch through the chest or the shoulders or the long stretch through the body. I want you to inhale here and exhale, bring your knee to your chest, use your arms to wrap around. <sighs> inhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bring it in, or exhale, bring it in. <sighs> Inhale out. In exhale in. <sighs> Good, one more. Inhale. And exhale, hold that knee in. 
breathe and then grab your strap. Take the strap around your right foot. Take the right foot up to the ceiling. <clears throat> and hold on to that strap and then very simply just bend and straighten the right knee. Just bend straight and try to get some nice length through the leg, right? So as you straighten, see if you can extend. Good, couple more, just stretching it out. And then hold that foot up toward the ceiling and either pause here because your hamstring's real tight <clears throat> and you're gonna let that uh, stretch out a little bit or straighten the left leg. But just notice when you straighten the left leg, does it cause your right leg to bend? If it does, I would probably keep the left foot on the floor somewhere and let the right hamstring stretch. The shoulders are soft. <laughs> Take the left arm overhead any way that feels good. Maybe it's palm up. Maybe the elbow is bent to a more cactus pose, whatever feels good. And then feel that stretch from the left foot to the left fingertips. Deep breath in, everyone. <sighs> Exhale it out. Good. One more big deep breath in. And exhale it out. And then release that whole left side. Bend your right knee. Remove your strap. Right foot to the floor. Good. Breathe. Straighten the left leg down along the floor. Take the arms up overhead. Your right foot's on the floor. Here we go. Inhale first. Exhale, knee to chest. Left knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, close it in. Inhale, open. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze it in. Hold it there for a moment. Grab your strap. Take it overhead. Here we are on the left side. Pause here for a moment. Feel this side compared to the right side. And then bend and straighten. Just a few times. Right? So even something simple like this, we want to just be mindful. What are we doing? Right? Why are we doing it? Where do we feel it? I often notice which way my foot goes when I straighten it. If I'm not paying attention, the left foot will go out to the left. And I find that very interesting. And I'll try to straighten it a little to see how that feels. All right, hold that leg up toward the ceiling. Pause. Either you're going to stay here or you're going to straighten the right leg along the floor. Oh, yeah. Good, see if you can find some extension here. As we stretch out through this leg, the right arm goes overhead. We're stretching from right foot to right, to right fingertips. Soften the left shoulder. Don't make it bigger than it is. <clears throat> Breathe. <sighs> there you go. And then bend that knee, bring it to chest, release your strap. Set that strap aside, both knees to chest, both hands behind the head, a soft interlace. A little bit of core work here. The head stays down, the ribs stay down, right? The belly stays toned, the left leg goes up to the ceiling, the right leg presses out toward the top end of your mat. Breathe. If this is too much, I want you to just bend the knees, right? Even if you put your right foot back on the floor. All right. Inhale. Right leg up. Left leg lowers. Inhale. Left leg up. Right leg lowers. <clears throat> or Yep. And inhale. Lift. Exhale. Left side. Try to keep it hovering if you can. Inhale, left. Exhale, right leg down. Good. Inhale, right. 
Exhale, left, we're almost there. One more, inhale. Exhale, hold, breathe. Inhale, right leg up, both knees to chest. Draw the head down. Now, low back, folks, you're going to take those hands from underneath your head and you're going to put them underneath your sacrum instead. So be mindful. All right, knees are to chest, take both legs up. Exhale, lower both legs any amount. Try not to overarch and then bring the knees back in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, lower, lower. Squeeze them in. Inhale, lift. We're only doing three more. Exhale, lower. Bring them in. Good. Two more. Lift. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And in. Good. We got one more, everyone. Up. Exhale, slow, slow, slow. And knees to chest, release your hands. Bring your feet back to the floor, turn onto one side, and then come onto your belly. What? I know, I know, I know. Come onto your bellies. Now, if you have problems with either the knees or the ankles, you can take a pillow or something underneath those uh, shins, right? And elevate that a little bit and that can really help. Um, relax your upper body, take it down. You can even put your forehead on your hands. I'm going to keep my head up for talking. Good. And then kind of spread out through the belly, like make your belly really long from your shoulders to your hip points and then press the pubic bone down and lift the right leg. Just lift. Keep the hip point on the floor. Just stretch and lower. Good. Go to the other side. Lift the left leg. Engage the left glute. The toes are pointing. We're feeling this stretch. And lower. Good. See if you can lift both legs any amount. Breathe. And lower. Bend the right knee. Bring that heel as close to the glute as you can. Flex the foot and then straighten the right leg. Good, four more. Squeeze it in and straighten. Squeeze it in and straighten. Two more, squeeze, straighten. One more, squeeze, hold for a moment. And then take the heel away from the glute a little bit. So the leg's more of a 90 degree angle. Push down strongly through the pubic bone and lift the knee off the floor. Find your breath. And lower that leg. Good. All right, other side. Bend the left knee, bring that heel close to your glute. If you cramp, uh, one, consider if it's severe, certainly let it go. If it's cramping, maybe you wait just a second, see if it'll go away. If not, straighten the leg. Breathe, lengthen through that leg, and then straighten. And then bend four more times. Squeeze it in. Straighten. This is three. And straighten. Four. Straighten. One more. Five, hold it in, squeeze it in for just a second, and then move that heel away from the glute so it's a more 90 degree angle and see if you can lift the knee. For some, it's not gonna lift very much at all, right? Breathe, I know, and lower it down and release. Just come up to a really easy sphinx pose. And when you get to Sphinx, elbows under shoulders, I want you to sway side to side. Just sway. And breathe. Good, sway. And come back to center. Lower your body down, hands under shoulders. Push into your knees to push up to table pose. 
From table pose, hands are at the front of your mat. Spread your fingers, open up your shoulders. Downward facing dog. And once you're in down dog, let's just stretch it out. So start to pedal the feet. If you're doing down dog on the chair, your hands are pressing straight down into the chair. Got good stability. Everybody breathe, just stretching it out. And then find this, find your center. Open up the shoulders. We all know what to do, right? Holding on to that beach ball. Inhale, tippy toes. I have a sneeze. Excuse me. Where'd that come here? Exhale, hover your knees toward the floor. There was no way I was going to be able to do that. Good. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, hover knees, watch the feet. One more, inhale, down dog. Exhale, hover knees. And then lower your knees to the floor and pat out your feet. Good, cushing your knees if you need to. In fact, if you have a blanket, go ahead and put that blanket under the knees. Um, if you're on hands and knees, if you're working with the chair, obviously you won't need that as much. So blanket underneath, just because we're going to be here for a little bit, um, and you might want to start um, in that position. So hands and knees, tone in through the belly, press your right leg back. If your wrists or hands are chatting with you, go ahead and go to a soft fist, that's okay, or even your elbows. Lift the leg, find neutral. Find your breath. All right, first thing, knee to chest, squeeze it in. Press it out, point the toes. Squeeze it in. Exhale, lift and point. Good, one more, squeeze. And lift and point, tone the belly in, bend the knee. I know, here we go, right? You can tell what's coming. Find that. Own in strongly through the low belly and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, see if you can bend that heel toward the glute. Good, Lynn, drop that knee and hip more. Yeah, breathe and release it. Good, you can shake it out, shake out the hands, the wrists, whatever's chatting with you. Take a nice deep breath and let it go. Back to your hands, your knees. If you're using your chair, your hands are on the knees. You're stretching out one leg, toning that belly in. Lift up that leg, find neutral. And then knee to chest for three. Squeeze and then lift and point. Squeeze in and point. One more, squeeze and point. Good, and then flex the foot, re-level the hips, bend the knee, hold. It's more of a 90 degree, pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then hold and see if that heel will come closer to the glute. Squeeze, 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 everybody. And release, let it go. Find downward facing dog again. <sighs> Take your feet nice and wide on your mat. Walk your hands back. You can leave your blanket where it is. Bend the knees. Take your hands to your knees and come on up. Woo! Shake it out, everybody. Just kind of roll out through those wrists and grab one of your blocks. If my girls are getting warm in here, we can turn the fan up or open more window. So you've got your block between your thighs. And actually, let's start with something kind of interesting I was playing with earlier. Um, take that block between your legs and just hold on to it. I like the long ways. It gives me lots of good feedback. It tells me where so that the knees aren't rolling out, they're pointing forward, that kind of stuff. Now, grab your other block 
and just place it on top of your head, hold it. Now, the first thing I want you to do is engage the legs, don't hyperextend the back of the knees and get really tall, like really tall through the legs. Imagine that the outer leg and the inner leg are getting the same length. And then kind of circle that body really tall and then lightly hold the block on either side. I just have my fingers resting and imagine the whole head coming up into the block. In other words, I want you to get a whole inch taller and kind of notice where your head is, right? You're looking straight ahead and then see if you can let go of the block. Stay really tall. Shoulders draw back. Legs are super active. The torso, right? In order for me to balance this block, I've got to keep that head lifted and find this true kind of mountain pose feeling. And then reach up, grab your block, and let go. Kind of cool, right? All right, set one block aside. That's just, that was like a little aside because what I noticed for me is that when I let go, I actually had to lift my chin a little more than I thought. So either um, I wasn't flat enough here or I was actually tucking a little bit, right? So I found that super interesting. Anyway, <laughs> back to the block. Block between your legs. You are at the back of your mat. Blanket can be there or not. We're going to be kneeling on it. So, but we also have to walk past it. Again, if you're using your chair, you're um, going to stand in front of that chair or yeah, in front of it, near it, as opposed to way behind it or, or see how you feel. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bent knee, forward fold, bent knee, forward fold. Hands come to shins, lift up halfway. Exhale it down. Hands to the floor, walk yourself to down dog. Watch your blankets if they're there. Hold on to the beach ball. Engage your side back muscles. If you were with me Friday, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Come to plank pose and breathe. Hopefully your blanket is where your knees are gonna land. Drop your knees, hold on to the beach blanket or a beach blanket, hold on to the beach ball, listen up. Instead of going down to Chaturanga, you're gonna bend your knees, oh, squeeze them in. Hamstrings, say hello. Don't let your hips drop, everybody. Squeeze the block, squeeze the hamstrings. Release, plank pose, down dog, breathe. You're on elbows, you know what you're doing there. Sorry for the trickiness there. And then walk your hands all the way back to halfway uh, to forward fold. Bend the knees, hands to knees, and come on up. And open the shoulders. Good. We're going to do that two more times. If you would prefer to stay down instead of walk back, walk forward, that's okay too. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bent knee, forward fold. Inhale, hands or uh, lift up halfway. Exhale down. Walk it out. I'm walking, yes, indeed. I'm talking down dog. <laughs> Squeeze your block. Hold on to the beach ball between those elbows. Keep the shoulders wide. Press through the pads of the fingers. Take it to plank. Strong poses, everybody. Lower the knees. Adjust the hands if you need to so the butt's not too high and it's not too low. And then lift and bend into those knees. Squeeze in. Woo. Yep. Breathe. Release. Plank. Down dog. Walk it back. Bend the knees. Inhale, take it up. Exhale to your heart. 
roll the shoulders, shake it out. We have one more there, right? So not only are we working with the upper body because we're walking with those hands, but we're working with the hamstrings a little bit. Think about back bends, right? In order for me to do this, I got to be able to activate this, okay? Right? Front side stretches, back side engages. Why we're doing it. All right, take it up. Exhale, soft bent knee. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Walk it out. Down dog. Feel your good, strong, solid, downward facing dog, everybody. Come to plank pose. Breathe, knees down, squeeze those heels up. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Toes down, knees up, plank pose. We're almost there, listen up. You're just gonna drop the knees. Take that block out. You can have those blocks to the front of your mat and step forward, right leg. Take the blocks under your hands and come into what would be a very normal uh, low lunge, right? Knees to the floor, top of the foot's to the floor. If you're using your chair, your hands are on the chair and you're in your lunge or you're seated in the chair with one leg going back. Just kind of notice this and notice, I'm gonna turn forward for a second. Notice where you feel your stretch. So if we're here in our lunge, front knee is aligned, where do you feel it along the front of the left thigh? This was a really interesting uh, short training that I saw that most of us, me included, I feel the stretch kind of up here more so then kind of down here, right? We're still stretching the quad, we're still stretching the hip flexors, but it's pretty, for me, it's pretty uh, narrow, the stretch. So then do what we often do, which is back up, come into that 90-90, so that our knee, our hip, our shoulder, our head are stacked, and then a little bit of a soft tuck of the belly. The ribs draw in. And then notice where do you feel the stretch? Did the stretch go longer, right? It's pretty cool, pretty amazing. And then press down through the back foot, if you can. And notice how that just changed everything. Take the left arm up, left knees down, left arm up. Breathe, keep that little bit of a tuck. Now, listen up. Come forward with the tuck, with all that muscle engaged a little bit. See if you can hold the stretch down the leg. And breathe. Nice job. Exhale, hands come down. I know that was a lot. Press back, switch sides. Woo. So just switching sides is kind of that counter, kind of a counter pose, right, from that longer hold. So start in your long lunge, right? It's knee down, but it's long, it's deep. And kind of get a sense of where you feel it. For the more flexible among us, you might hardly feel anything, right? Because we're still used to stretching there. And then start to back it up. Bring the right knee, right hip, right shoulder, head all up in the same stretch, same line. Press through the back foot. Little bit of a tuck of the pelvis, the ribs soften in so I'm not flared out. I'm tucked in and the right arm goes up. Press through the back foot Whew. and breathe. Chances are one side's going to be a little bit more stretchy and or tight than the other. Breathe. Try to relax here, even though we're doing a deep stretch. Big, deep breath. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Set your blocks aside for now. Plant your hands. Lift your right knee. Step back to downward facing dog. 
to plank to knees down to heels up squeeze Oof. to toes down to down dog good take your feet wide everybody do a nice strong elephant walk back to your feet bend your knees hands to knees neutral spine come on up and roll it out good and then maybe move your blanket off a little or make it smaller we're going to come back to the knees and the blanket but i just want to make sure it's not in your way so maybe you set it aside for now inhale take it up exhale take it down hands to shins halfway up exhale down soften the knees step back right leg grab your blocks either your right knee is down or it's up you decide engage the legs take your hands to your knee and take it up now if this area is super tight your torso is going to be more forward but I want you to think about the same principle here. I want you to tuck, bend the back knee, belly draws in, ribs stay in, arms can come up or stay at your chest. Breathe. Whew. Yes, indeed. Oh, find that. Good. Straight in the back leg, keep the torso exhale hands down walk your blocks forward just step forward shake it out i know that's quite a lot of stretch when you're ready bend both knees step back left leg walk your blocks back under your shoulders open up the shoulders your left knee is down or up squeeze your cute little butt hands to knee come on up notice where your torso is in space right if you're more forward what that tells me is those hip flexors are fairly tight so see what happens when you bend the knee and bring the torso back and tuck in through the belly and squeeze your glute muscle and feel all that happening maybe you take the arms up maybe not push in through the feet what happens if you isometrically try to push the back foot back? What does that change? Breathe. Exhale. Down we go. Move the blocks out of the way. Step back to down dog or step forward. We are going to get there. Walk the hands back. Forward fold. Bent knees. Stand up. Ooh, shake it out, everybody. It's warm. What the heck? It's warm. All right. So another way to play with this idea of stretching. So hip flexors, I think you all probably know this, at least my regular students, right? This is what the hip flexor does. It either does this or it does this. It brings the chest, the legs and the chest together. And if you feel, if you put your hand right here and bend, you can feel those muscles working, right? Put your thumb in there. That's what we're talking about, hip flexors. But when we extend the hip, we've got to engage the back body. So maybe you want a little hand to the wall. I'm not sure. You're going to step back a short step. And then you're going to just try to front leg relatively straight you're going to push both hips forward so we're stretching this area once again do you feel that and so lynn i would come on the ball mound of the back foot and then it's almost like we're tucking and lifting at the same time and breathe some of you can step back a little bit more Get a little bit more. The front knee bent, more stable. The front leg straight for me, more stretch. And release. 
switch sides. Short step back to start, ball mound of the back foot. Find the balance, maybe straighten the front leg, and then just lean back. What happens if you lean back? So you're kind of leaning the torso back, but tucking the pelvis forward. And breathe. Mm -hmm. Soften, maybe you step back a little more. See if you can find it. Front leg straight, working the balance more. Front leg bent, stretch, but less balance work. And then release and step forward and shake it out. And then just bend one and then the other, right? Release that big old stretch. If you sit a lot for work or you're driving a lot, anytime you're th like this, woo. So you want the hip flexors strong, but you don't want them so tight all the time. Okay, back to your mat. We are gonna use the blanket for our knees. So if you wanna set it in, uh, there now, go ahead and do that. And you don't have to, if you have a cushy mat and a cushy floor and you don't usually use a blanket, don't worry. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, forward fold. Soften the knee, step over and beyond your blanket with your right foot. Grab your blocks, lower your right knee to the floor and breathe. So here we are back in that funky little lunge. I want you to take your left hand block inside, walk your left foot out to the outer edge of your mat, and then angle the foot and the knee toward the, that corner or toward that wall. So it looks like that. Keep the knee in line with the foot and keep the foot on the floor. Find that and then come into a deep stretch and breathe. Squeeze your butt, tuck the pelvis a little bit and breathe. Bend your back knee optional. I know this is a lot, especially for my knee folks. Hold here. Good, release. Take both hips back, just bring the left foot back. Step the right foot forward. There is a, a method to the madness here if you can hang on. So right hand goes center, the foot walks out to the edge of your mat, right foot, and then we angle the foot out. So the knee, the foot, right? Everything facing in the same direction. Come into a deeper stretch, squeeze the back glute, breathe, and then tuck in a little bit mm -hmm. and breathe, find that, and then see if you can bend the knee. Woo. Good, Lynn, just watch your front knee, front foot, your foot is angled way more than the knee. Yeah, breathe. So it's not a deep dive. You can see I'm more up, then I am down, so not quite so deep a dive. Breathe and release. Take it back. We got one more here. I'm gonna go back to my right side just so anybody watching can see. So step forward with your right leg. Here we are again. I want you to tuck in through that left side hip. This time you're gonna take that leg out to the side. So it's kind of at a 45 degree angle. Your hands are on your blocks. You're gonna bend toward that knee. Watch the knee that's on the floor. You're gonna feel a little different stretch. Breathe. And center. Switch. The left one goes more to 45 degree. And then you're gonna bend into that 45 degree, working with those inner thighs a little bit. For me, if you're wondering where you're supposed to feel this, it's your body. For me, I feel it deep on the inner thigh. I feel that kind of a nice stretch that I don't usually get. So we're working with the uh, more of the inner aspect of the thighs. And come back. Whew and 
bring them back. Both hands to the floor, downward facing dog. I know, I know. Everybody's like, oh, what is she doing? Walk the hands back. Bend the knees, come on up to standing. Shake it out. So often when we do this deep front hip stretching, we feel it. Um, but if you walk, if you just walk, you may feel looser, <laughs> like, right? Because when this area is tight, something as simple as a walk can feel tight. And if the hip flexors are tight, it pulls on our lower back and changes all kinds of things about that spinal alignment. So not a bad thing. All right, so here we go. Balance work. We're gonna maybe be near a wall, okay? Don't have to, but maybe. Stand tall, maybe a hand sitting on a chair or on a piece of furniture. Stand tall. Press into your right leg. Hands can come to your hips and lift your right or left knee, right? So there's that hip flexor working. Keep the bend of the knee and then reach back and see how far you can stretch that leg back with a bent knee. Let me turn sideways without tilting forward. Ah, <laughs> right? Changes things. Hip extension for a lot of people. 10 degrees or uh, 10, yeah, 10 degrees at most. Bring it up. Exhale, squeeze it back. Hands can be the hips, hands can be the heart. They can be loose to help with balance. Squeeze in, it's almost like you're tucking back even though, although you're pressing. Good, one more, squeeze it up. And whoo, squeeze it back. Lift up through the front body. Imagine tucking the pelvis slightly and release. Shake it out. Other side. Good, strong mountain pose. Think about what we did with the blocks, right? One between the legs, one on top of the head. Get tall. Shift into your left leg. Bend the right knee. Bring it up. And breathe. And then keep the bent knee, keep that 90-ish angle and squeeze it back behind you. Engage the glute, but also engage the standing leg, everybody. Breathe, bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back and hold. Try not to lean forward. Good, one more, lift up. And exhale back. Good squeeze, everybody. Lift tall, flight tuck. And release. Whew. Shake it out. I know, I know, I know. Good. Feet just slightly wider, maybe a little more than slight wider than hips width apart. Toes point forward. Come on down to a squat. Rest your hands on your knees or your elbows on your knees or hands if, if elbows is too low. Press the legs away from each other isometrically. Feel the sit bones get nice and wide. Tone in through the belly. Hands come to knees, lift part way up. Push down on the knees, even as you're lifting. And then lower. Hands to knees, push, just lift the chest. Good, one more down, push, lift up, lift your left heel only. Keep pushing with the hand. Lower, lift with the right hand, push. Lower, optional, lift both heels, push the hands, find your balance. Woo. Feel your legs and stand up, take it out. I know. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just right here. Ooh. All right. Back to, the, back to the front of your mat. You may or may not want your blanket under your knees. So if you want, keep the blanket nearby. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale it down. Soft knees. Soften the knees. Step back, right leg. Lower that knee to the floor. Grab your blocks. Here we go. Tone in, tone in, tone in. Take those arms up. 90 degree angles, everybody. Tuck and lift. Find your breath. Exhale, hands down. Left block inside. Turn the toes out. Bend the back knee. Optional. Drop to elbows on blocks. And breathe. Squeeze that uh, heel in. Release that. Hands come back to your blocks. Take the same left leg all the way out, kind of more than uh, 45 degree, and then lean into that leg. Come center. Bring that foot back in at that angle where we were before. Bend the back knee. Once again, optional. Blocks, no blocks. Reach the left arm forward, back. Grab the big toe side of your foot, check the knee, and then bring the left shoulder back to the center. Push your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. And release. Woo! Bring your left leg back to meet your right and sit back. Hero pose, child's pose counter pose for that big stretch of the legs. I'm going to take my blanket for my other side. You got it, everyone. All right, we ready to do the other side? Yay! Let me hear a yay! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Can, can you hear the enthusiasm in the room? Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited. All right, let's bring our right foot forward. Right foot forward. Hands can be on blocks. Here we go. We're going to tuck, tuck, tuck. Hands to knee. Come into that 90 degree. Lift up, lift up. Breathe. That feels like a much better stretch now than it did in the beginning for me. I don't know if it does for you. Push into your back foot. Exhale, come on back down to your blocks. Walk your right foot out and then just turn the toes away. And breathe. Tuck up a little bit. And then if you want to come down to your elbows on blocks or not, come on down. Breathe. Press into your blocks. Step that same right leg all the way out to the side. And then lean into that knee. Whew. And breathe. Come on back. I realize I forgot to do something. So step that right foot forward again, angle out, bend the back knee. Oh yeah, almost forgot, but didn't. <laughs> delayed, I delayed it. And then right arm reaches up, reach back, find the big toe side or not. You can be here, right? Big side toe or big toe side and then bring the right shoulder forward. Yes, push the foot into the hand. Breathe. And release, holy moly. Slide the right leg back and sit back. Child's pose, hero pose, anything that flexes those hips. And breathe. And just kind of notice, right? Notice how that feels. What's going on with the bod, right? What's going on all through here. And then say, Mary, what does that have to do with back bends? <laughs> A lot, right? Because we cannot easily go into a back bend if the 
front body isn't open. That's what we're looking at. All right, so you're gonna come onto your belly. And if you want, I would just keep that blanket down underneath the hips, right? Just because you love yourself. Remember that poem this morning, you love yourself. And you're gonna do something nice by making that a little more cushiony. And come on down. Lower the body all the way. For now, I know that probably feels good. And then just tuck the pelvis. So you're gonna tuck the pelvis. You're gonna press in through the hip bones or sorry, through the, pel the um, pubic bone and just feel how that changes, right? Changes everything. The glutes become active. The front body tucks in, lift both legs. <sighs> Might be a little easier this time than the last time and breathe and then lower that down. Extend the right arm out in front of you. Your left hand can be, your forehead can rest on your hand or a block. I'm gonna, no, block's too high. Just so I can talk, I'll probably keep the head more lifted. Um, lift your left leg, keep the hip bone down. Lift the right arm and the chest, head, neck. Don't overlift the head. You should be looking mostly down. Squeeze. Turn the right palm down and squeeze that elbow back to your side. And then lift forward. Just two more. Squeeze it in. Forward. Squeeze it in. Forward. Lower everything down. Shake it out. Right leg lifts. Hold here. Left arm reaches forward. Press down through the pubic bone. Lift the left hand. Notice when you press down through the pubic bone, it's easier to lift head, neck, chest. Breathe. Here we go for three, elbow to side. One and two and three. Reach and lower. Woo. Shake it out. Both hands come down to your sides. Forehead to the floor. Shoulders pull away from the floor. Press down through the pubic bone, lift both legs. Reach up through the arms and lift head, neck, shoulders. Draw the shoulders back. Turn the palms down and see how that changes your pose. Turn them back up, locust pose. Reach both arms forward. A lot of work here, I know. And lower down. Bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs. We're almost done here, everyone. <clears throat> Before we go to the next back bend, I want you to tuck your pelvis, press down through the pubic bone and rest the low back. Feel the low belly kind of knit in around the belly button. Hang on to that. Bend both knees. Now, here's where the options come in. One, you're here. This is awesome. Otherwise, lengthen the thighs, but repress through the pubic bone and come to your elbows. And breathe. <clears throat> a lot of work, a lot of work. Look at the back bend of this, right? This is really sweet. This is a nice little back bend here, deeper than sphinx, but yet your hips, pubic bone, thighs are grounded. One, here's where you stay. Two, take the legs down, regular sphinx. Three, lower, reach back, find the feet and come to bow pose and breathe. I press my feet back into my hands, opening up the shoulders. Lower and let go, holy moly. <sighs> Sweet <laughs> and breathe. Mm. All right, 
So leave the blanket where it is and come on to your back. I know you're very happy right now. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of work right no kidding but feel ideally hopefully feel your lower back and then some pelvic tilts and tucks and breathe <clears throat> And then, <clears throat> excuse me, plant your feet on the floor. Your legs or your feet are hips width apart. Your hands come down along your side body, the shoulders draw down. Press your shoulders into the floor and lift your chest away from the floor a little bit. Press into your feet and lift the hips, bridge pose. Bridge pose, everybody. And notice <clears throat> that with the front thighs and the front um, hip flexors open, maybe your bridge pose is that much longer. Breathe. Come on to your ball mounds of your feet. Lower. Come on to the heels of your feet. Lower, press into both feet, and then lower all the way down. Draw right knee to chest, straighten left leg. <clears throat> Take your hands behind the right knee. Just hold here, relax your upper body. Tone through that belly, kind of knit around that low belt or the belly button again for me and lift the left leg just a couple of inches off the floor. Keep the hips relatively squared so you're not reaching with one side. Release the hands if you can. Hold and then straighten the right leg. Oof. Then the right knee, yep, slow work. Bring the left knee in, hug both knees. Keep the left knee to your chest, fold it in, straighten the right leg along the floor. Shoulders are down, all you're doing is stretching here. Lift the right leg off the floor a little bit. So this is all hip flexor work. We stretch the heck out of it. Now we're toning it back in because both are important. Release the hands if you can. Maybe you stay here. Try not to stress the upper body. Take the left leg up slow. Hold, tone in. Hmm, breathe. Bend the left knee to chest. Bring the right knee in toward chest. Woo. And both feet to the floor. Good job, everybody. Take the palms of both hands to the very upper thighs and just push those hands, those palms of the hands into the upper thighs. Just push and create space. And let go. Lift both hips, shift them over to the right. Listen up, bring your knees to chest. I see on occasion that students will leave their knees down low <clears throat> and then twist. That twist goes into the lower back. I want the twist to come into the mid upper back, or really the mid back. So bring the knees up toward chest first. If you want one or two blocks under those knees, that's awesome. Start to let the knees roll to the left. Remember, you can set a block under or between uh, your twist. But when we shift the hips, the sacrum and the shoulder line up a little bit better. The twist is in the rib space, right? Maybe open the arms to cactus or straight out if you've got the room. 
When the knees are below the line of the hips, we can get into the low back and the lower back just doesn't twist, right? So we create some sheer force there. So just relax. Find your breath. Deep breath in and deep breath out. And then leave the left knee down, but take the right leg up or the right knee up and just let the right foot come to the floor, right, right underneath or right beside the sole of your left foot. So you're just trying to lift one knee away from the other. Bring it back toward the knee and both knees up. Feet come to the floor, your hip shifts to the middle, and then it shifts all the way over to the left edge of your mat. The knees come up, and then they lower down. The chest is spread open. The shoulders are soft to the floor. Nice deep breath. Try to relax the legs. Leave the right knee down on the floor and lift the left knee. Let the left foot come to the floor and it's just right alongside the bottom of your right foot. Press the knees away from each other. And bring the bottom knee up. Good. Come back to center. Grab your blocks. Come to a supine Baddha Konasana supported with your blocks. So soles of the feet are together. Your lower back is comfortable. Your legs are resting on your blocks. I cannot tell you how important that is that we aren't just holding the legs out right now. That's a whole nother pose, nothing wrong with that. But I want this to be restorative because we've worked with the legs, hips a lot today. So just allow it to rest. Your hands can either be at your sides or they can be resting at the inner thighs or even where that um, psoas where all that stretching just was. Soften the jaw, the belly, the shoulders are nice and even, the ribs are falling softly to the floor. Deep breath. Few more breaths right here. We're almost done.
draw the knees together and just grab one of your blocks, place that block in its widest setting between the knees, bring your feet back to the floor and then squeeze your block. Just squeeze. A little bit of a reset on the hips, inner thighs. Release, grab that block, take both blocks underneath your thighs, right up where that behind starts. Straighten the legs over your blocks. You can adjust a little higher or lower to see what feels good. So that the legs are soft, the knees, hips are all soft and find your Shavasana, everyone. Shoulders down, belly soft, feet, legs, Fully relaxed. <sighs> Feel your breath. Let there be space between your teeth so that your jaw relaxes fully. Soften down.
very slowly start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Draw your knees to your chest and rock side to side until you fall the knees to one side or the other. I want you to pause a little longer in fetal pose than we would normally. So curl over to one side and make yourself comfortable and imagine that you have just woken up from a nap. But send some love into the areas that we work today, right? The hips, the hip flexors, the hamstrings, the legs. And decide to love these areas of your body. And to love all areas of your body and to love yourself. These radical shifts in acceptance um, make all the difference. And then slowly but surely, come on up to a seated pose. Bring your hands to your heart. And bow to that inner gift of love. Namaste, everyone. Thank you all so much.